Hi friends, we depart from Sydney to Canberra, the capital of Australia. Our purpose is to see the annual Floriate Festival. We use 3D animation and video footage to show our journey. Floriate is Australia's largest flower festival. Floriate started in 1988 as a one-off celebration of Canberra's 75th birthday. Due to the success and popularity of the event, it runs every year with a new theme. This year's theme is Songs of Spring. Visitors will be amazed with the bloom of a million flowers. Sydney is the capital of New South Wales, the most populous city in Australia and Oceania. Greater Sydney is made up of 658 suburbs, governed by 33 local governments. The city has an estimated population of over 5.2 million, home to approximately 66% of the state's population. The city's nicknames include Emerald City and Harbour City. Aborigines lived here for about 30,000 years. The traditional custodians of the land are the clans of the Darug, Darawa and Eora peoples. James Cook landed at Botany Bay in Sydney in the year 1770. In the year 1788, Arthur Philip established Sydney as a British penal colony. It was the first European settlement in Australia. Sydney experienced mass migration after World War II, with more than 40% of the population born overseas. The most represented foreign birthplaces are mainland China, India, the United Kingdom, Vietnam and the Philippines. Sydney, although an expensive city, frequently ranks among the top 10 most livable cities in the world. It is one of the 15 most visited cities in the world. With millions of tourists visiting every year, the Sydney Harbour Bridge and Sydney Opera House are major tourist attractions. Sydney Harbour Bridge is the most famous landmarks here. It is the largest steel arch bridge on earth. You can walk, cycle or climb to the top of the bridge. The view at the top is stunning. Also, locals affectionately call it close hanger. The bridge took eight years to build and opened in 1932. It was made from 3,000 tons of steel. The bridge carries rail, vehicle and bicycle. It is the eighth longest span arch bridge in the world. The height is 134 meters from top to water level. Until 2012, it was the widest long span bridge in the world. The bridge width is 48.8 meter wide. The arch consists of 228 plate arch trusses. The arch has a span of 504 meters. It is held together by 6 million Australian handmade rivets. Rivets are hot red when inserted into the board, then immediately rounded with a large pneumatic rivet gun. At each end of the arch stand a pair of tall towers. They are 89 meter high concrete towers clad in granite. The abutments support the loads from the arches, but the towers themselves serve no structural purpose. These pylons were not part of the original design. They are just added to allay public concerns about the structural integrity of the bridge. Now, all four towers are in operation. The Southeast Tower contains the museum and tourist center, with a 360-degree observation deck at the top, offering panoramic views of the Sydney Harbor. The southwest pylon is used to support its CCTV cameras, overlooking the bridge and surrounding roads in the area. Bridge climbing activity has been carried out for tourists to legally climb the southern half bridge since 1998. Tours run all day, every day from dawn to night, only cancelled in the event of thunderstorms or high winds. Climbers are provided with protective clothing and briefings are given before the climb. Participants are secured to the bridge by wire lifelines. Each climb takes three and a half hours including preparation. The Harbour Bridge has been an integral part of Sydney New Year's Eve celebrations for fireworks displays. During the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games in September and October, the bridge was decorated with the Olympic rings. It was closed to traffic for a day for a parade in May 2000. In response to the Indigenous Stolen Generation inquiry, Indigenous children were forced into care by white parents. These children suffer widespread hardship. An estimated 300,000 people walked across the bridge. Sydney Harbour, 
also known as Port Jackson, an entrance to the Pacific Ocean, 12 miles long, with a total area 21 square miles. The harbor is a submerged estuary carved from sandstone. About 29 million years ago, later sea levels rose about 17,000 years ago, flooding the river and creating the harbor. On August 1, 2002, three whales were spotted swimming in the harbor. They took time off after their annual migration, each about 18 meters long and weighs about 55 tons, attracting ferries and water taxis to stop and watch them. Our white car has now reached the two north towers. We are going to cross the harbor bridge. In the background we can see an island called Fort Denison, a rocky island, used as a place to punish criminals. Visitors can take a ferry at Circular Quay to visit there. The ferry departs every 45 minutes, 7 days a week. Now we can see the famous Sydney Opera House. On 28 June 2007, it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Sydney Opera House is a multi-venue performing arts center. The building was designed by Danish architect Jorn Adson. Officially opened by Queen Elizabeth II on 20 October 1973, the building hosts more than 1,500 performances annually. This place is visited by more than 8 million people every year. Around 350,000 tourists visit the building each year. The building covers an area of 1.8 hectares, with a length of 183 meters and a width of 120 meters. It is supported by 588 concrete piers sunk 25 meters below. The highest point of the roof is 67 meters above sea level, equivalent to the height of a 22-story building. The roof consists of 2,194 precast concrete sections, each weighing 15 tons. Although these roof structures are often referred to as shells, they are precast concrete slabs supported by precast concrete ribs. The shell is made up of 1,056,006 herringbone tiles, colored in glossy white and matte cream. The tiles are made by the Swedish company, Hoganus, which generally produces stoneware tiles. Now we can see the P.O. Pacific Adventure Cruise Ship. P.O. Cruises has been doing fantastic holidays since 1932. On board the cruise includes delicious dining, exciting activities, entertainment and shore excursions, We can see the three international buildings here. These international towers are commercial skyscrapers, located in the Barangaroo area of central Sydney. Surrounding area is a small port called Darling Harbour. There are many attractions in Darling Harbour, including Friendship Garden, IMAX Cinema, Star Casino, Sydney Aquarium, Coco Bay Wharf, Madame Tussauds and more.
Darling Park, consisting of three towers and Cockle Bay Wharf, home to some of Sydney's best restaurants and bars, it's the perfect place to sip a cocktail at sunset, listen to live music or dance the night away. Home venue is Sydney's largest nightclub with the best DJs. Now, we turn left from the Western Distributor Highway, onto Harris Street, a busy street. The building on the left is Global Switch, a telecommunications service provider company. The building on the left is the Ian Fork Aquatic Center. The next building is the Powerhouse Museum. The building next to it is the ABC TV station. Now, we turn onto Regent Street, we continue to drive south towards Sydney Airport. Thank you for watching.